Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Derek Duct Tape Man here, and first I'd like to say thank you for going to my channel and watching my videos. Now this video here, I'm going to continue my series on the justice system, since I've been called for jury duty. You know, now the judge puts his gun down like this. You now that means court's in session. So... I'm going to talk about the defendant, the one being stand on trial, one being accused, one have to stand on trial, main person. You know, when he's on trial, he's facing a, ju ju and a prosecutor with a jury and a judge. In this case, his life is on the line here. Whether his life to continue or be ruined or destroyed. For many times, maybe even the rest of his life destroyed. As he rates his fate. So the prosecutor lays out the evidence. Then the defense attorney argues their case. Then it gets in the hands of the jury. Whether they didn't say whether you're guilty or innocent. And then if he's innocent, if he's not guilty, acquitted, that means he can go home. He can, he can live his life. But if he's convicted or found guilty, that means he'll face a judge for sentencing. Sometimes, a lot of times, it's years in prison. And th so even when released from prison, he'll have this record that will haunt him for the rest of his life. As he stands before the judge, he gets the judgment here. So, with that in mind, I like to read a verse of scripture here. And right here it is. Hebrews 9.27 And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Now, those verses I read, that verse I read in scripture here, talks about, yes, we're all going to die. We're all destined to die and to face judgment. And we're going to face God himself to be the judge. He's going to judge us. And why is he going to judge us? He's going to judge us based on what on the way we live our lives. So I'd like to show you something here. That, um, Yes, it's true that God created us, which is qualifies them to be our judge because he created us. That's basically the only reason why he, what he needs. Really, he needs no reason at all. But he's going to judge us. But why? The thing is, God does not want to be our judge. He doesn't. He actually, he created us, like I said. He created us so he can love us and we can love him. He created us so he can be with us and we can be with them. But the thing is, he created us to follow some rules. And we, when we um, lied, we stolen, we cheated, we hated. We had our own, we, we made our own gods. I could go list the list of the Ten Commandments here. And we have broken every one of them. But, but the thing is, like I said, those are rules that God has us to follow. And we all broken those rules. Every one of us. And that's called sin. And because of our sin, we can't be with God. Even though God wants us to be with him. We can't have God except to be our judge. And he doesn't want to be our judge. And that's a sad thing there. And we can do all we can. We can do try to do all we can. You know, like do every good work we can. But there's not a thing we can do about it. We're broken. We're, we, we're, our fellowship and our line to God has been broken. It can't be fixed. We've broken it when we sin. It's broken. But that's the thing here. Because of that, 
we can't be with God, even though he wants us to be with God. So that's why we have to die, and God does not want us to die. He's not willing that any should die. We have to go to a place called hell. And God does not want us to go there. He actually wants us to be, a, to be in heaven with him, but we can't be in heaven. Because of our sin, that's how it has to be. When we die, we have to go to a place called hell. And God does not want us to go there. The only thing that God could do about it was send his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross. When, so he lived a life without sin. He did none of that stuff I told you about. So that allowed him to do something very special. Special for us, not for him. Nowhere near special for him. Like I said, to die on the cross. He had his arms out like this. Feet. It's all stretched out, nailed. He was in extreme pain when he died. But that was, he shed a lot of blood, and that was for the forgiveness for our sins. He did it so we could be forgiven. But the good news is, he didn't stay dead. He has risen, and that secured our salvation. And that gave us our salvation when he resurrected from the dead. And all we got to do is just accept them and believe. And accept them. You know, like I said, how do you receive it? It's like, same thing how you receive a gift for your birthday or for Christmas. It's a gift, you just got to take it. Same thing here. But here's how you take it. First thing you do is you need to admit to God that you have sinned. You have broken his law and rules. And because of that, you're on your way to hell. There's not a thing you can do about it. Nothing you can do. Then you got to admit to God that you believed that Jesus Christ came down here, live a life without sin, so he can die on the cross for forgiveness or sins, rose again for our salvation. Tell God you believe that. Then lastly, all you got to do is ask him. And you're... And you're on way to heaven. You, it's been changed from way to hell to way to heaven. You're forgiven and you're saved. Saved from judgment. If you have done that, congratulations, you're on way to heaven. And you and I will be meeting together up there. We'll see everyone else who also died in the faith and went to heaven. And if you have not, and you still want more questions, my contact information will be in the description there. Whatever question you ask, just let me know and I'll question, I'll answer it for you. So, like that's it for now. That's it. Like, thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, like, notifications. Get, get more videos of me. This is Derek Duct Tape Man saying, see you later. Goodbye.